All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Yu Yu Hakusho, Hakusho episode, episode 28. 28. You, you, right. you son of a bitch, I was this close to saying season one, episode 28. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Dark Tournament. We're here. We're here. And we're uh, here. The first fight is going to be between, uh, well, the boys and uh, the Roku the, Yukai. The, not Genkai. And uh, the, yes, the uh, Roku yeah. Yukai. Um, yes. We've met Rinku and Zero. Um, we still don't know how they're just going to do this tournament. We know that right. there's probably going to be a bracket system based on how they're setting things probably. up to rig it so that, well, we end up getting, at some point, a Taguro Brothers versus, you know, the boys and everybody. Yeah. But, but but until that point, mm -hmm. we're just gonna have a circle brawl, you know, where it's just you guys are brought there, team V team, and, and, there and just go, just go ham, you know. Yeah, uh -huh. I, well, I assume at the very least there's gonna be no holds barred in terms of the way they fight. Oh yeah, like it's absolutely like a kill each other kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so that in itself is is one thing, mm -hmm. but also introducing said characters, right? Because like. Mo the majority of the people on the on the ship that were going with Yusuke and stuff were like demons and stuff, right? Yeah. Like very, very obviously visually demons. Now, granted, they were also kind of punks, That's and they true. ended up getting punked by the you know our boys, well, yeah. or and Genkai. Yeah. They had such simple forms, basically, that we should have been aware of that foreshadowing that none of them were actually going to be involved in the dark exactly. tournament. Exactly. But that being said, the fact that our boys are human. Mm -hmm. is well some of them are well, human well two of them two of them you know is unusual right, right. so so it's probably just that these yeah. like you know the the uh, rinku and ziru are just in their human forms or whatever because they're actually like really strong demons but we still do have to actually get introduced to all the people that they're going to fight like on the way to the taguro brothers right and the right. taguro brothers team yeah so what i'm guessing this arc might just end up being a lot of is mm -hmm. We're going to watch a lot of fights. Probably. Not necessarily having our boys being in the fights. Uh, otherwise, I'm really, really, like, I'm I'm really excited to see what they do with our fight, you know. Mm -hmm. For yeah. our boys, we can cheer right. on there to then use as the framework for what all the other fights will look like. Yes, although um, currently, Yusuke is still sleeping. Yusuke is still sleeping. And I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, I guess Genkai is like, no, 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 no. We're not going to slap his ass and like, yeah, no. <laughs> you know, kick him in the chest or whatever. Genkai pushed him hard enough that mm. as long as no one comes within six inches of him, he's like, I'm fine. I sleep. I, I sleep. sleep. Yes. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> but tournament yeah. starts. He has a whole Zenitsu moment where it's just like someone's like, ah, I'm going to kill your best friend, Kuabar. And he's like, <laughs> every masterpiece light. has its cheap comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. But do you know what we get this episode? What? The first fight. Mm -hmm. Which means the first set of commentary from Koenma. Oh my god, yes. Well, we can uh, very clearly see that uh, you know this mysterious fighter is quite strong compared to the rest of them. In fact, this uh, guy here, he might very much be carrying them. You know. Uh... Thankfully, Kuabara's charisma is so strong that he's able to uh, coordinate with this mysterious man. That's so optimistic for you to think that Koenma would say anything nice about Kuwabara. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kodo. I'll be your Kodo. host for this year's tournament, and it's gonna be a messy one. But those are the first few rows. Raincoats are available. Oh. Oh, okay. Take a look at the view, friend. This is the kind of privilege you can't get being good. A box seat to oblivion before Lady Death takes us there herself. <laughs> wow. You can't get being good. Team Roku, you guys! Mm. I love the guy on the left. Yeah. Oh my god. That necklace. Team your own Get off our grass, you filthy human! <laughs> I love the reused voice actors. Those are those yeah. are those are this wonderful. Is sure one heck of a oh yeah. For special guests, I don't think these monsters took their grumpy pills today. <laughs> <laughs> it most certainly isn't pleasant being called a traitor by creatures you've never met. Both teams into the arena. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I love this so much. 
That cool bar stands so tall. Yeah. He's a natural born leader. Yeah. I love how they each have one short person, like, mm. per five, you know? Okay, yeah, let's see concessions. Uh, bow tie! Yes! 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 yes. Oh! Oh. Please, please watch what you say. Yes. Why? Because it's dangerous. Well, don't you think it was dangerous not yes. letting us know all this? That's You're too super dangerous. Use K can't keep lying to people he cares for. Mm. Yes. So this is our eighth lap around the arena. Hmm. Wait, what? It's about to begin. Why don't you want to go inside? What? I'm Wait. So sick and tired He's of nervous. That's it. Come on now. Oh my god. Is this where he takes on his older form? Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes! I am so glad the voice didn't change. Oh my god. And Junior on his forehead. Junior, you must be Koenma. Is that you, Koenma? That's a doozy of a costume. Oh, I see my majesty is a stud. Are all these girls with you? This is a sister and a girlfriend of my team. The blue-haired person on the end is my assistant, and apparently she has a very loud mouth. <laughs> oh, they're always mean when they get handsome. <laughs> I'm Koenma. I'm very cool. <laughs> I'm very cool! What? Yes! Oh my yes. god! This is... Oh my this god. This is incredible! I love it so much. Real guts to come to an island like this. Oh, yes. Yes, this please. This is amazing! I'm Koenma. I'm very cool. <laughs> Our team leader's still asleep. Well then, Kobar, you will have to be the one to do it. Because you're a natural born leader. leader. I don't want to go to school, Mom. <laughs> if that's not a chance oh. for power, I don't know what is. Exactly. Course, I really don't like the fact that I was second choice, but oh well. <laughs> Let's do this tournament terms thing. Oh my god. Do the <laughs> Yep, yep. Uh. <laughs> Let's do man to man. That's how real men fight, after all. Sounds like an agreement. And that's we how they can keep Yusuke out. out of this. One. Okay, they just so need one to win on three out of four. See right. There. Right. One on one means that they can have Yusuke wait a long time. Yep. He can be the final one. And I'm surprised that they uh they didn't. Do whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Don't you Yusuke love still it? sleeps. His spirit energy just shut to the roof. Oh shit. Oh my god. Uh Come on you messy, we got problems here! Uh, what no the hell? Shit, it's no use. Well, people, the flames are out. I notice everybody is pretty quiet after that little outburst, but remember that's half the fun. Wow. <laughs> now send out your okay. teams. Please let Hie <laughs> fight this one. The bread is definitely mine. Oh. Oh, you can yes. take him out, Kobara. What? I have to go hike. <laughs> Come on, kid. Make it uh -oh. oh my god. This is a problem. Kobara is uh mm. Yes, we'll be all alone, sir. <laughs> it's about time. That body makes me tired. Hurry, it's starting. <laughs> oh my god. First person to stay down or out of the ring for 10 seconds is the loser. Gotcha. Oh, wow. Now begin. Might want to pull out your sword, Kuwabara. You uh. What's in that pouch, too? Okay. Yeah, he's fast. What is this recess? Oh, did he just go through the floor? Wait. Uh, no, I don't think so. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. You're starting to make me mad. <laughs> Stop moving. Well. Okay. All right. You you gotta deal with that, cool Bora. This is gonna become Saitama with the the mosquito. And he's just gonna be taking a sword like. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> His movements will be difficult to follow. Oh, Yoda. But I feel like it's not Flip just it speed. There's something else to it, too. Well, yeah, he hasn't used any techniques necessarily yet. I might be worried if it were for one thing. You're leaving a trail. 
is. Well, Guevara doesn't have any problems hitting the kid. Damn! Way to go, Guevara! <laughs> All right. Nice one, Lamo. Yes! Wow. <laughs> Actually giving commentary, but can't see. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Get him off the arena. He should drop his honor and strike yep. the boy yeah. while he's down. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's 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 the noble thing about Kuabara, though. Yeah. Whoa. Shit. Oh, there was some spirit energy in that one. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. You really shouldn't take so long with those attacks of yours. Where is he? Shit. Oh, it's My turn. On the temple. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, God. And that, that neck movement. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, Wait, shit. Is he oh. out? He might be out, yeah. Is he? Is he okay? Cheers to the end of another great match. Oh, I can always spot oh the shit. Kuwabara only seemed better because the boy was leaving a trail. Six. Oh. Oh, Kuwabara. He got overconfident. Mm. I broke the dummy's neck. Say, why did you? Count his last heartbeats? <laughs> and oh. then he turns around and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stopped counting. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, oh. Actually, my neck is just fine. Uh. Wait, what? Holy shit. What have you learned, Kuwabara? All right. Oh, that look. <laughs> that look. Say, guess we'll have to fix that, won't we? Oh, damn. That human's like a punching bag. I mean, it only took the one hit. They so. both greatly underestimate each other. I believe the first one to realize this will win. Oh, nice. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think you'd come back so quick. But even with my guard down and you at your best, you still couldn't beat me. Why don't you run home? Let someone else fight. Here's Whoa! A idea. Oh, Since here we go. I couldn't beat you playing. I'll start using my real weapon. Yeah, here mm -hmm. we go. Wanna try? Oh shit! Oh shit! We going Killua up in here? Yeah. Got yo yos. It is yo-yos. Yep. Ah, okay. let's go. All right. Let's go. Well, this is bad. <laughs> Here's a new trick I got. Is Don't he dual wielding? Double spirit sword. I think it's time we finish this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Let's go. Short talk. Do you think you can win with those stupid No, this is a this is a feint. He said short toss. Oh no. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, of oh. course. The strings, they're alive. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that, people. Somehow the yo-yo snake themselves around to avoid Kuwabara's sword. Well, that's this is a problem. problem. Yeah, of course they did. You don't so the think trick is, no ordinary you have to intentionally to loop the strings, <laughs> right, and then yank when them I towards you. The right. My spirit power goes into them, kind of like they're a part of me. Animate, animate object, you know, just. Mm -hmm. You trying to I get eight attacks right like here. Good luck. Snakes, barehanded. Yeah, that. Tentacle oh powers, man. They're always oh OP. Boy. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Literally reminds me of the Killua scene. Remember the Chimera mm -hmm. ant? Yep. Yep. I'll throw my yo-yos and you try to stay alive. <laughs> oh, I love it. Using it as a mobility tool as well. Sure. Oh! <laughs> nice! Oh, shit. This is where you dodge, I think. Oh. Too fast. 
Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit. shit. Oh. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Uh. This is wow. such a contrast from the previous arc where they were just rinsing everyone. <laughs> Come on, Kuwabara. Reveal. Reveal some something uh, like a like you didn't stop my dick, and then he like launches spirit blast from like his his mouth. Or <laughs> were the strings frayed a little bit though? It looked like they might have been. Isn't this to die for? Oh my god! <laughs> Falling attack, Kuwabara. Right button. And as his team watches in horror, Yusuke stays sound asleep. Yusuke sleep. Can Kuwabara overcome these staggering odds? Wow. Okay. All right, all right, that, all right. That's a good start. That's yep. a good start. <laughs> and only one way to find and, out and tune in next time. time. On you, you yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Of course. It literally did the, you know, mm. find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah. World lady. And we got grown up Gwenma. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Like, I'm so glad it wasn't like a brother or something like that. Well, and that like, it wasn't a permanent thing. Right, right. It's exactly. just like, I'll do this for a little bit to flex on everyone. Yeah. But, oh no, it's exhausting. Let's get back to my regular form. Yeah, not a time skip, nothing, nope. nothing nope. janky like that. Just like a, just I'll cast a new glamour on myself. Yeah. You well, know? and him, him being genuinely like, I'm insecure about the fact that you're a mess. You made fun of me because I'm a toddler, and probably would get that from everyone else as well. People like, oh yeah, ah, is oh, that yeah. Koenma? Ah! <laughs> right. Oh man, I just I love Koenma so much. She's right. great. <laughs> He's so great. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. We got the Rikugi Kai team versus uh, the the Urameshi team. Indeed. And, and well, all right, sweet. So one on ones, mm -hmm. but that is not necessarily how every fight has to go. Right. The leaders talk and yep. can, and basically have a little bit of a a little bit of a social battle in the beginning mm -hmm. by deciding what are the terms basically that you demand be held within this fight. Yep. Now the crazy thing about this is that if you fight early, which everyone I'm assuming has to fight at least in the first round. You get information on what they can do, and then you can say, ah, we're going to fight without using spirit techniques that go beyond 30 feet from, you know, your body. Sure. Or something like that. And then they're going to be like, yeah, that's fine. But you can't jump in this fight. And it's like, oh. Right. Oh, whoa, okay, all right, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or yep. it's like, you know, no spirit techniques, only grappling. It's like, sure. wait, what? You can't throw a punch? Nope. Yeah, like oh, there, there are shit. there are plenty of ways that this can go, and I and I love that this was a this was a good reason to have it be one on ones because mm -hmm. right. because Yusuke. on the one hand, uh, yeah, yeah, Yusuke is asleep, so yep. if he's sleeping, then because he doesn't have to fight, necessarily. he doesn't have to fight, and you don't need to worry about protecting him in a in a team battle. Right. But that adds an interesting little extra bit of tension and danger because mm -hmm. that means you have to win three out of four. Right. right. So you only have, one person you can have less lose. Less chances, which means Kuwabara, yep. you're kind of the only person that could lose. Right. Because you're first here. Mm -hmm. If you lose here, then that's it. No one else can lose. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. One of the other things that's rather um rather interesting about it being one on ones is that all of the fighters are shown like face to face here. Mm -hmm. Which means that when one person basically decides I'm gonna submit myself to be the next person to fight. Everyone else on the other team can go. Oh, you're gonna fight. Yeah, we'll send then you because we think you'll right. counter them. Yeah, like like really. I mean, now I don't know. I don't know if Kuwabara is going to win this, and I don't see. I don't see Hie, Kurama, and Genkai losing their fights necessarily. Maybe one Not of them, necessarily. and then and then Yusuke has to come in and fight. But but I I really think that they're those three are going to win. So, but I could Kuwabara see Kuwabara might winning. Kuwabara might win here. So, but, yeah, but I, the reason if why Hiei had gone up against this guy, I get the feeling Hiei would have probably been the natural counter. Because, you know, right. speed for speed kind it of thing. It would have been a speed for speed battle, but I think they're saving Hiei to fight against the elemental guy. Maybe. Possibly. But there's a possibility that they wouldn't because it's then ice versus fire. And maybe mm. it's just 
well, you could just lose because the fire is too strong. Sure. So that, and, that's a whole which, thing Which, by the way, person just randomly just decided to... like 20 to, or 40 people. Or, or a or couple more hundred, maybe. In the stands, like, yeah. Yeah, and... Okay, but I love that there was the restraint. The line can of, move forward quite a bit now for those that want in. Uh huh. Yep. Got in a lot of well, not really seats. A lot of space opened up. Seats are kind of charred, you know. But <laughs> but no big deal. But at the same time, it's the Standing whoa. Room. But hold on, I'm not gonna touch any of the of the contestants. I'm not gonna touch any of the opponents. Right. Yeah. That's, just, that would probably get them booted from the tournament. Right. Right. Exactly. And that's and that's something where it's um. Mm. Given the fact that we had the person talking to uh, Koenma and saying that, hey, you're, re with all due respect, sir, your position doesn't mean anything here. It's just strength here. That's mm -hmm. what that's what dictates the rules, right? right. And, and, you know, you and your father have signed off on this, right? Yeah, you're essentially just the owner of the team. You're not anything yep. else here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and and hey. That, <laughs> that's cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's awesome. What? If everything is dictated by strength, then what is the strength that keeps them from attacking the other teammates? What keeps right. them in line for the tournament? Right. That, that's mysterious to me. That's, that's terrifying. That's terrifying because we have a lot of badasses in this fight. Mm -hmm. And there's this notion. Now, it could just be like a group thing of mm -hmm. like, you know, pack pack mentality. If someone gets out of line, then the pack tears them apart. You yeah, know, that, that's definitely the thing that I would expect initially. But one yeah. of the other things that I would expect slightly is because there was a very definite um, uh, allusion to a class specifically mm. in this uh, sure. tournament, is that everyone in the stands are of lower class right. to those that are running this thing, so they don't care about their safety or lives. So when that guy burned everyone in the stands, he didn't get in trouble because right. he didn't affect the upper class. And that's why the, the, the rich people are in the private boxes. Yeah, exactly. You know, is that so, people could die. Yeah. It's not a get your raincoat because blood splatter and stuff. It's no, bring your like heat resistant gear. Bring your all yeah. weather purpose cloaks because holy shit, you have no idea what kind of spirit shit is going to be flinging out. Yep. And, and, just... and I got to say, I got to say, I like that. Mm -hmm. the, there there are some world building implications for that. But, sure. But the idea that, um, like, <laughs> I remember in season two of MHA when they had the tournament, right? Mm -hmm. And some of the crazy abilities that end up getting thrown, thrown out. And then there's all the debris going everywhere from right. the massive explosions. It's like, I hope that, oh, okay, yeah, they have some kind of protective field or something. Because otherwise, everyone watching is just dead. <laughs> like, like, it's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, forget protecting the contestants. Just what about the civilians watching this? Right, you right, know? exactly. But, so the idea that, no, 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 this is a tournament of demons. They call it yeah. the dark tournament for a reason. You know, it's on the... People die. Yep, yep. Tons of people mm -hmm. die. And that's all part of the fun. Yep. Right? Yep. This is, this is the Roman Colosseum. Yeah. We are bringing everyone in here to die for your enjoyment. And this culling, if you will, of, of people that are, you know, well, trying to get stronger, if you will, mm -hmm. keeps a nice little buffer, if you will, between those of the lower class apparitions, as that guy said, right. to those that are definitely in the probably demon kind of side of things. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting because I would say that particularly all of the crime lords there I'm guessing are human. I think so, yeah. Now, this is this is rather curious because we had another bit of world building oh. prior that Kie is a apparition yeah. that if he harms a human, or I think it's if he kills a human. Yeah, if he kills a human, yeah. Like, he is screwed. He's in serious trouble. And, it, and the, the thing that's weird about that is that you'd think if you killed anyone, you'd be in serious trouble, right? Right? <laughs> But no. I guess not. But I guess not. Right. Apparitions can kill other apparitions or demons can kill other demons or whatever. And there is there is no yeah, issues that's, with that. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah. so he a he a like looking at this, this is uh this is kind of interesting. And I want to see how his character brings out that past side of his mm -hmm. into something where it's no, you kill or be killed here. Yep. Because right now Kuobar is in the situation where it's the kid, mm -hmm. and I, I love that this is such a simple, subtle thing for um, Takashi to bring up here, is that the good boy, the himbo, if you will, of the group, mm -hmm. um, Kuobara, is facing against what looks like the little kid, right? Yep. So he won't want to kill him. Right. But 
we as the audience can kind of tell, no, 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 see, Kuwabara, you're going yeah. to lose. And in fact, he nearly the, oh, did shit. kill you. Yeah, that's he right. He kicked you in the temple so hard that your neck spun around a little bit. That's actually a really good point. Mm -hmm. Given the fact that you can totally kill your opponent and it's just fine, mm -hmm. right? Yep. If it gets to the point where someone is going to lose, yep. it might be important that they then decide how they lose. Mm -hmm. because going outside of the ring for 10 seconds or something yep. sure that might actually be something you want it might be something you want if because you go back in the ring you might die yeah yeah mm -hmm. and and kuwabara you're lucky that you're so stupid dummy thick tough dummy thick tough that, indeed that, oh my that god a, that a that a full rotation kick to, to the temple temple didn't didn't kill didn't you kill you even though your you. neck went all like Ugh. Ugh. yeah yeah I think <sighs> there might have been some slight just inference that uh, Kuwabara has some healing properties. Because, I'm just going to say it right here, mm. the way he fell and the way his neck went down back there, it was not just the typical 45, or sorry, 90 degree turn. It was a bit more than 90 degrees. Right, it wasn't, it, yeah, it, his head wasn't just twisting, it was like turning. Like, like mm. it was like he was in a shaft show or something, except yeah. the rotation was right here, not here. Yeah, but... And... <laughs> and, and Possibly a thing where, where Kuwabara is made of not only tougher stuff, but he's also passively healing after all these hits come in. And I would not be surprised at all if he had something like that and didn't even realize it. Well, not only if he didn't realize it, but what if that's how he wins? Is that through this fight here, he's been taking hits that bring him down HP-wise, mm -hmm. but then he just slowly heals back up in between the hits, and that brings him back down, and then he slowly sure. heals back up. So... It hurts. It's really painful in yeah. the moment, and it's he's not able to break out of these attacks. But he's also not taking lethal damage or serious damage right. enough to where it's actually inhibiting his ability to fight. So here's another thing that's potentially worth bringing up. Mm -hmm. They said um, no other, you know, regu no other restrictions or regulations or whatever because it wasn't specified, right? It's right. just one on, one on one, and there you go, right? Mm -hmm. There was the whole idea of someone being down for ten seconds, right? Mm -hmm. If there's truly no rules, could someone just come up while the person's down and cut their head off? Probably. I get the feeling that that might be okay. Now, mm -hmm. granted, it's possible that it wouldn't be because then it makes the tournament brackets weird and stuff like that. But, but this is a this is, and because because we haven't he was fully intending to kill Kuabara there that would have killed a, a lesser. Yeah, man, I think he right? thought he was dead. That's yep. why he didn't yep. double tap. He, he, yeah. he genuinely did, and right, and that mm -hmm. explains why he didn't double tap. But again, that's one of those things where. These kinds of people will absolutely double tap mm -hmm. if they think it's needed. Yeah. So, right. Don't let yourself go down. You know, which is which is yeah the thing of where Kuwabara was getting lambasted a bit by Hie. Well, Hie mm -hmm. was thinking about it basically, but right. he was like, "Yeah, you should have gone for a, a double mm -hmm. tap or just hitting him while he was down like that and disoriented, right? And whipped out your sword and stabbed him. Like, yep. Mm -hmm. Like this is that kind of a thing there, and I think right. that's why Tagashi had. Kuwabara go first and this kid be the first fight set the because tone, it yeah. sets the tone for that you think oh this is going to be a cute fun tournament mm -hmm. and it's like no no -uh. no right because Kuwabara it, nearly died there yeah because let's say he had gone first right mm -hmm. now one he the, the the kid probably wouldn't have like gone easy on on he from the get-go right probably not but no. but let's say he gets to the point where he 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 wounds him somehow he he gets the advantage he would then immediately double tap stab through the chest and twist right like you know yeah, or or hit him so hard his you know his whole body right. goes slack you know but that i could definitely see that being something where maybe kuobara is like whoa he like i mean yeah then there's a debate and conflict within the party of whether or not that's okay right and then all of a sudden then he would you know need to tell kuobara like no no no, no. you don't get it here this yeah, isn't yeah. this isn't like yeah. You know, anything that you've dealt with before. Right, and that would be a problem because they still wouldn't believe him because they weren't the ones in the fight. Sure. So now Kuwabara, right. the wholesome boy, he is learns going the hard to be way. willing to, well, yeah, he's le learning the hard way, but he's going to be willing to go to at least take everyone seriously when he mm -hmm. enters the fight immediately rather than doing things like, well, oh, that sort of from the beginning. Shot, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That that doesn't fly here. It does not fly. Yeah. So, um, I got the girls here. Mm -hmm. um, they were they were wonderful. The fact Excellent though outfits. That, yes, the fact though that uh, Botan is just like, wow, I guess uh, that is the kind of uh, tongue you'd need to handle Yusuke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Um, but also, <laughs> just <laughs> um, the 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 fact that Koenma mm -hmm. had yep. his little like ego like issue yep. moment 
transforms oh, yeah. into like cute boy, you know, uh-huh. kind of version. But his voice is still the same. I, and then oh, when he man. introduces himself to I'm very to, cool. Yes, yes. I'm coin my I'm very cool. And I just I <laughs> Any uh, man who must say I am very cool is, is not, not cool. very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Like it just uh, it felt so goofy. It was amazing best, in the best way. Because so, because uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, there was a part of me that was like, oh shit. When I would see, whenever I would see grown up Koenma in the ED, I'm like, please, don't. What if what right. have they done to my beautiful boy? Right, right. Like, but like I wanted to I wanted to make like like every kind of a guess of how it wasn't necessarily Koenma. Mm, like it was right. Like. Like it was like a time skip Koenma. Like there's gonna be sure, a point or an in older the brother. Or... Yeah, an older like brother of sorts or something mm-hmm. like that. But no, no. One of the things that's just I just have to say, I have to say, we might ne- have not actually met Koenma's true form all this time. That's true. And this is something that is a weird thing to bring up, but there's a possibility. There's a possibility that Koenma is either stuck in the form of a toddler. <laughs> In like a in like it's you're like a, grounded. it's like a punishment from dad yeah, yeah, basically yeah. that while I'm not here this is what you look like mm-hmm. and that's just something he has to deal with or he he chooses this willingly mm-hmm. because he really doesn't like his other form sure and I mean he gets he, a lot of people to take him not as like you know that's true uh, like they don't get scared of him or something like that right Koenma cute, you know? if he is truly the son of like the demon lord. The demon lord. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Then he yeah. would have a demon form. Right. Now it's possible that his adorable hat hides the horns. But possibly. I'm guessing that, you know, that is something that theoretically he could bust out, right? Right. What what I'm thinking happened mm-hmm. was at some point, because he's like an immortal being or something. Right. He was dealing with the problems that no one was basically wanting to do what he'd say because they were either too scared of him mm. or he just looked like ugly and what have you. So he needed a boost to his charisma scores. So mm. he's like, I'm going to make myself a cute little human and everyone will listen to me. Absolutely. And they also won't like try and get me to do too much stuff for them because... And my voice will fit my form as well. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I can just picture it. He's this super scary demon with a voice like this. Yes, I am a Baylor. Now, you must take me seriously. Now, I, wait, wait, why did you just try to cast Fireball at me? Are you fucking stupid? Like, like, like let, me, let me, like, pick this up and let me explain to you. Oh, I am man. your god! Bow to me! And then it's just like... <sighs> then it's just like he's in this cute form, right? Yep. Now, it's worked all along, right? Yusuke shows up, and he's like, What is this toddler? Ah! He's like, <laughs> and he's like... I, I worked hard. I I learned the spells necessary to cast this glamour. It's permanent. I don't have to waste my energy doing this shit. And you say I'm a toddler? This should make me cute. Well, or... or Why do just, I have to work with this little shit, you know? Or even better, it's just one of those things of like, okay, I'm an immortal being. It takes me 5,000 years to grow out of this toddler form, you know? Like, or something like that. Right, right. How dare you? But the idea that it takes him energy... Mm-hmm. To use the yeah older the, form, there are so many that, reasons why I love this. That that means on some level that it takes less energy or no energy to mm-hmm. use the toddler form, which right? Means which means it's either the original, which is probably what it is, which is probably what it is. But then why is it why is it something that he can transform out of to begin with? If he doesn't like the toddler form, why doesn't he just pick any other form? Probably because it's his regular form, but then there's the right, whole right. demon thing. So it's yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's so like, like but, oh, but he's an adorable toddler. Don't think about it too much. But yeah, yeah, but exactly. Yeah, I, I just, I just, I just want to say, the fact that it takes a lot of energy means that one, he's not going to stay in that form very right, long, which is good. Which is good because I was so worried that it was going to become yes. a permanent thing where it's just like, well, fine, I'm just going to do this now, and this is how I am for the rest of the show. Oh <laughs> God, that, that would have broken my heart. That would have broken my heart too. Two, also, and I know I said this before, but same voice in the, <laughs> yes, yes, but three. If it uses a lot of energy, mm. then we can have a situation where Koenma needs to do something. There's some mm. there's some conflict problem because they mentioned that power is what talks here. Right. Now, he doesn't necessarily have to be insanely strong just because he has a high position, right? Botan had a good position, but she isn't very strong necessarily, right? True. But, True. but the vibe that we've gotten from Koenma is that he does have some pretty phenomenal cosmic powers. But if he wastes all his energy... On stunts to make people think that he is actually really cool and grown up and stuff. Then all of a sudden when he's needed to fight, it's like, oh, sorry, I burned all my 8th and ninth level spells, you know, to, to, to do a basic disguise. You know, I, I can't help you right now, Yurameshi, you're on your own. 
That would be incredible. I would I would get I, I just get might so die. much joy from that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you know, someone like does something that unleashes pure chaos at the dark mm. tournament. It's madness, right? Yep. <laughs> and he's Ooh. just like, oh no, well, uh, I guess I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. And it's like, come on, help us fight. It's like, well, you see, I, uh, I takes a lot of energy. Kind of used all my power earlier. I was dealing with something very important. What could be so important? And it's <laughs> right. just like, it's none of your business. It's demon king son stuff and all right. that. I, I, ogre, let's get out of here. Let's get out, let's go. It's like, Koenma, do you really uh, need protection? Yes, I can't even cast like any basic shit right now. If I get punched like too hard, I'm gonna die. Uh, like, uh, but sir, yeah, like, would you like to get in the special hideaway backpack? Yes, get me in the backpack. And he like do, throws do it you in the have, backpack. Do you have my favorite stack out. in there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like, as far as okay, and I know I know we talk about Coinma a lot, but we like do, we do. Yeah, th this show there were there were certain expectations that I had about the show going into it. Right? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, good good shown and all that stuff, mm -hmm. and apparently it has a great tournament arc. Right? right? Yeah. But Kuenma, Kuenma was not expected. Kuenma was so utterly not expected. Yeah. Like, like I, basically him and Kuabara, I would watch a show just about them. Yeah. You know, like I, yeah. I, I would. I honestly would. I and know I would, and I would absolutely love it. Yeah. So I just. <sighs> so yeah, here, yeah. here we are, and we're we're in it, and this is the first fight. And Yusuke's still asleep. Yusuke's still asleep. Yep. No, let Kulabara be the leader. And it was a great transfer. That was a transfer of power if I ever heard one. But <laughs> I'm not happy about being the second choice. Yeah, whatever, whatever. whatever yeah. <laughs> and I gotta say, I think this is the 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 biggest or most stingery we've had for uh, cliffhanger That's in true. the show so far. Where it's Find like, out next week, right? And we're like, as he's zooming ah. towards impacting the ground, you know. Like usually it would be like after like oh Kulabara's limbs all get broken or something like that, and it's like oh shit, you know. Mm -hmm. But no, <laughs> but no. This is like two seconds before he's literally like smashed on yeah. the ground. Like Which it literally could have been like an extra five frames to be like, oh no. But it's like, nope, nope. Wait, wait. Maybe he'll pull something out. Maybe, maybe. he'll manage to catch himself. You know, maybe, you don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.